Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across with a DLL is missing error, specifically the MSSTDFMT, that DLL error. And this should hopefully be able to resolve the problem without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go jump right into it. First thing I'd suggest would be to open up the start menu, just off on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with the command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now there will be multiple commands in the description of the video, but I want you guys to copy the SFC command. So just copy from my description and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Alternatively, you can also type it in. It's not that long, just SFC followed by a space forward slash scan out so pretty straightforward once you have it as it appears on my screen here you want to go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard this will take a couple moments to run here so just be patient
Okay, so once you run that scan, perhaps it actually did find something there as well. But hopefully, you know, if it did, it was able to correct the problem. The next thing you could try, so close out of here, open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now, I would highly suggest you create a backup with the registry, so we're going to go and left click on the file tab. Select export. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to convenient location on your computer. As for file name, I would usually suggest the date in which you're making the backup makes the most amount of sense. So I'll save once you're done with that. And if you ever need to import the registry keys back in, if you needed to go back to the previous version, just click on the file tab and select import and navigate to the file. So pretty straightforward. Once you're done with that, open up the star menu once again, type in CMD, command prompt, right click on it, select run as administrator. Another user account control prompt, select yes. Now, there are two more commands in the description of the video, so you want to copy the first one. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in. Now you want to do the same thing for the second command here as well. Next thing I want you guys to do is open up a web browser, and I'm going to have a link in the description of the video to this DLL file website that we're going to be downloading the DLL file from. So just hold on for a moment, we'll take a second to load. So scroll down this page here. You don't want to select the client demo. You want to go down to available versions. And there should be a 32-bit version here. So you get the most recent one and select the download button. Should take a moment to begin downloading. Don't click on any other links here. So just be patient. So once the zip file is done downloading, just left click on it one time to open it up. Now there should be a DLL file in this folder. Just left click and drag it over to the desktop. You can close out of this compressed folder at this time. Open up the star menu, type in File Explorer. Best match to come back with File Explorer. Left click on that. Left click on this PC on the left side. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed on. It should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive. Double click on that. Now you want to double click on the Windows folder. And now locate System32. And now that you're in System32, you want to drag the DLL file that should be on our desktop now and just drop it into System32. So it should say move to System32 before you release pressure on your mouse cursor. It says you will need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder, so I continue. So once you're done with that, close out of here. Now you want to open up the star menu, type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. Right click on that, select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now there's going to be two commands in the description of the video. So the first one, you just want to copy it. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt here, right click on it, left click on edit, and left click on paste should say it succeeded, left one OK. And now we're going to do the second command here, so just copy it, top bar of the command prompt, edit, paste, hit enter. So if you're running at 64, 32, but that's why we have two different ones here, so just wow 64, if you had to put it in that folder, that's why we have the second command. Shouldn't be necessary if the first one works out for you, so just keep that in mind. If instead, if we had a 32-bit system, it doesn't really matter so much, but Instead of putting the DLL in the system32, we did the syswow64 folder. The second command would have had the same message that the first one did. So pretty straightforward. Close out of here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.